Hi everyone and welcome to our video. Although this game isn't native for Mac, we found four working alternative solutions, Boosteroid, Crossover, Whiskey, and Bootcamp. If you don't know anything about these methods, we'll help you in a sec. But if you know what you want to use, look at the timestamps and jump to the segment you want. If there's something specific for this game, it's probably already in our instructions. But if it's not, we'll update it in a comment and mark the timestamp. Schedule 1 is a very undemanding game in terms of hardware, so the easy answer is crossover. The game will run well, and since the focus isn't on graphics, your settings don't really matter much. But crossover is pricier than the cloud gaming alternatives, because it only allows you to buy a 12-month subscription. So if you just want to try the game for a bit, I'd go with the cloud option for a quicker, more budget-friendly solution. I'll first start with the most straightforward option. Boosteroid. It's a cloud gaming service, so all you need to do is follow the link in the description, register on the Boosteroid site, and start your subscription. Then simply find the game and launch it. That's all. The next two options, Crossover and Whiskey, require a bit more setting up. For Crossover, follow the respective link below, register and either purchase the app or go for its 14-day free trial which is what I recommend. After Crossover downloads, launch it, install the app, and create a new bottle from the bottle menu. Then go to Install, find Steam, and install it in the new bottle. Steam will start automatically, so close it, enable D3D Metal and eSync, and then start Steam again. All that's left to do now is find the game in your library, install it, and click Play. The whiskey method is a bit more finicky, but the plus here is that it's totally free. You must first download the latest version of the whiskey app from the provided link below and extract the zip file in your applications folder. Then you must create a new bottle with Windows 10 or 11 compatibility and go to the Steam page linked below. On that page, click the Windows logo icon to download Steam for Windows. That's the version you need. In whiskey, click Run, find and open the Steam installer and install Steam in the whiskey bottle. Once Steam is installed, launch it, find the game, download it, and click play. Last is the bootcamp method, which I recommend only for high-end, Intel-based Macs. For all older or weaker Intel Macs, it's best to use Boosteroid. To set up bootcamp and run Schedule 1, first go to the Microsoft link below and download a Windows 10 ISO file. Then open Bootcamp Assistant from your Utilities folder, click Continue, click the File Picker, and open the downloaded Windows file. Adjust the slider to give your Windows partition enough space and proceed with the installation. Once your Mac restarts, simply follow the prompts. On the product key screen, you can just skip it by clicking on I don't have a product key. After you go through all the prompts, the installation begins and you just have to wait for a while. After that, you must personalize your Windows settings and you'll be good to go. All that's left to do now is to download Steam, install it, and use it to download Schedule 1. So those were the methods that worked for us. Did you already try any of them? Do you know any other workarounds? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time!